Good evening. I'm a day late with my Facebook Live, but I'm here. I'm going to give you a few minutes um, to find me, and I'm going to try and share this on my group. So I should be live in my on my page. This is only the second time I've done it this way, so let's see how this works. I had a church meeting last night, so that's why I couldn't um, couldn't do my Facebook Live last night. That's why I'm with you tonight. All right, my laptop is taking a long time. Oh, hi, Lanita. How are you? Okay, I'm trying to get my laptop to work too so I can share this on my group. We'll see. Here we go. Let's get in there. All right, share. Group. So, Lenita, are you going to go back to church a week from Sunday? I'm planning to. All right, now it should be, hi, Betty. Welcome, Lanita surviving. Yeah, I know, you're, you're on the, um, okay, let's see. It says it shared it. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So it should also be showing up on my group. So let me go over there real quick and make sure. Hey, Nancy. I'm going to go to creating this and be, I think, my group. Too many things. There. Okay. Now I should see it here. Like I said, this is only the second time I've done it where I'm, if you are in town. Yeah, you've probably been trying to do a little camping just to get out and relax a little bit. I think we're going to have to sit six feet apart, though, Lenita, which is not fun. But it is what it is. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. Okay, hang on. I'm just making sure I can get over to my group and see the video there, and then we'll get started. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, never mind. I can't go do it now. It's doing something weird. Okay, tonight we are playing with the Botanical Prince Medley. So they've had a medley um, several times. They had a Christmas one in the last holiday. They have this in the spring mini, and there is a new one in the upcoming annual catalog that's coming out. So a medley has a whole bunch of stuff. So this one has a stamp set, Botanical Prince stamp set. It has dies. Let me open this up so you can see them. It has these dies. So, oop, I just need to go the other way. So these little corner ones, and then some that cut out the flowers that are in the stamp, or the flowers and fruit that are in the stamp set, and then just a couple extra little leaves. And I think I've used almost all of these now. I've got, at the end of um, making our card tonight, I'll show you some other cards that I made. And I think I used about everything in there. So this, I didn't check today, but yesterday when I was looking, this was still available. Um, it regularly price was $70, I think, and it's on sale now for $42. So good savings for it. It also comes with paper, so six by six paper. And this may not be all of them, but these are the colors that are in it. And then on the back are some wonderful black and white, which I'm using on the card tonight. So it's gorgeous. Oh, there's the rest of the papers. I just didn't all get picked up. There's the other two. I love these stripes. And the colors in this paper are Pretty Peacock. Terracotta Tile, Old Olive, and Crushed Curry. So those are the colors in this suite. 
Um, I don't know that I would have thought to put them together, but I do really like them all together. And then I did make one card where I didn't use any of the paper so I can make it whatever colors I wanted. So I'll show you that too. It comes with ribbon. So this is Old Olive. Let me see what it's called. Twill. Yeah, twill ribbon. It's real soft and it's very easy to tie. So we're going to use some of that. And then I didn't put it on this card, but it also comes with these little B. If you can see them, let me take one out. I've got a card that I did use it on so I can show you that. But they're just little B charms. Or I think they're bees. They're some kind of little winged bug. I don't know if they're bees or... I don't know what they're, you can kind of see them. Anyway, so I think, oh, and then with the paper, it also has um, some dyes and some specialty papers. So tonight on the card I'm making, I'm just gonna use one of these. I'm actually not even gonna do any stamping tonight. My original card I did, but it has two sheets of these. It has two sheets of these that have labels that you can put sentiments on and I'll show you these on a card and then it has I think three sheets of these so this is pretty peacock and there's different patterns and then on the other side it's just white so you could sponge them or just use them as white um, I have one where I use the pretty peacock side I'll show you that too so all of that you get for $42 so it's a good oh I better put my bee back where did I put that so it's a good deal um, right now. I don't know where my bees went. Okay, he's gonna have to sit there. All right, so when I made this card, um, I stamped this flower. So it's this one right here. I stamped this flower and um, colored it with blends. So I used Old Olive and Petal Pink. And then that's some of that um, black paper. Oh, I lied, we are gonna do a little bit of stamping. Um, but tonight I'm just going to use one of the die cuts. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get my pretty peacock and I've got pretty peacock cardstock. So this is four by five and a quarter and I'm using that same flower. And we are just going to stamp it all over the background, just for a little more texture. And you wanna turn it different ways and be sure you go off the paper some. Again, it's just to give it a little bit more texture. All right, and I don't have to worry about too much about the middle because that's where my um, designer series paper is gonna go. All right, get that out of the way. And then I have a piece of the black and white. I think it's like two and then by four, so it'll fit on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my pretty peacock. Just kind of in the middle here. Maybe a little bit up. And it looks like this is a little bit wider than the one I did originally. And now, before I adhere this to my card base, I want to put my ribbon around it. So I'm just going to take it and wrap it around. Get my ribbon scissors. And I'm not tying it in a bow, I'm just tying it in a knot. So I don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna tie it over here to the left side. And I can always slide it some more if I need to after I get it tied. And this is always the challenge, tying ribbon on a live video, you never know. There we go. Trim those ends off just a little bit so they don't interfere with my flower too much there we go all right and then i've got just a whisper white a thick whisper white card base so i'll go ahead and put this on my card base
and I made it, um, make sure, oh, see, I was going the wrong way, um, a little smaller, so you'll see a little white edge around it. Just kind of frames it nicely. And then this time, like I said, I'm just using one of the punches, but I like having a little bit of vellum behind it. Just makes it show up better against that busy um, black and white paper. So I'm just gonna take, I think I need to get a new mat now, a little bit of my snail and adhere this to the vellum. And then that will tell me where I can put my dimensionals. So now I can see where the, probably two is enough, it's not that big. I can see where that is. Put my dimensionals there. Come on. And then just put that, kind of tuck it under there. And there you go. So there's two different versions of that. Um, Car. Now let me show you some of the other ones that I've made. Um, I did take this with me when I went on that retreat in March before COVID hit. And so I played with it some then, and then I played some more um, uh, tonight. So this is one of the papers, and here's that little bee um, charm. One of the black and white papers that I colored with blends. Now I think I put my either my sentiment or my ribbon over where it had kind of bled. This designer series paper bleeds a lot more than just your regular whisper white. So when you're coloring, you got to be sure you stay inside the lines a little bit. But that is Mango Melody and Old Olive. So that was one of the ones I made. This one I had seen somebody do something similar to this online, so I copied it, and it's just using. Um, three of the pieces of the designer series paper. I stamped a little bit just in the corners. This is Smoky Slate and then a little bit right there, um, Smoky Slate there too. And then um, Pretty Peacock for the sentiment. Like I said, I had a lot of fun. This is one where I used the that um, overlay and it's a little bit different pattern, but one of these and I put it over one of the black and white papers. And it almost lines up, or at least it does for a little bit, and then it gets off. But And then another one of the dies. And that's Old Olive and then the ribbon, of course, too. This one is very simple. Um, just some paper. Now, this um, paper is terracotta tile, but we don't have terracotta tile blends. So if you use Cajun Craze, it's very similar and it works just fine. It matches just fine. Again, a vellum punch behind it um, just to make it show up a little better. And then the ribbon there, I just crisscross behind it. And let's see, this one I copied from the catalog pretty close. Um, this I stamped and colored and then die cut these little things here. Some more of the black and white, some ribbon and then these little green leaves are the ones that are in the die set. And then a few little gold gems just to finish it off. And then this is one of the labels that comes with it that I stamped with Pretty Peacock. And then I had to use those corners, so I made this one. This is actually um, Seaside Spray, which is one of the in colors that's carrying over. So it was last year's new in color. These are the corner dies, <clears throat> and so they just left a, a diamond shape in the middle. I just put some ribbon in another one of the dies, and then a little piece of the designer series paper. And then this last one is the one where I use different colors. So I just used the black and white paper, um, punched some holes in it, and I just took a pencil. I laid it on top of my white piece, which is the same size, and just took a pencil and lightly made circles where the holes were so I knew where to stamp my images and then color them with blend. So this is Flirty Flamingo and Mango Melody. And then some of that crinkle, white crinkle, crinkle ribbon, um, some rhinestones, if you can see them. I colored them with the Flirty Flamingo blend so they would match. All right, so that is it. I have, let me just lay these out so you can see them and then I'll show you. I had a lot of fun playing with this set, as you can tell. Oh, we have a dimensional backing. 
So this was, it's really a lot of fun. And like I said, you can um, use that black and white side and do any color you want. Um, but it's a beautiful set. So if it's not something you have and you're interested in it, um, go ahead and jump on it now. We only have a few more days. Um, Tuesday, next Tuesday is the last day that you can order anything that is retiring. Um, so you don't want to wait. Um, also, I am going to, I talked to some of the ladies that were on my team meeting um, Tuesday night. And I'm going to do my card class next week, which is Thursday. And I'll put something out on Facebook and send an email soon. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do live in-person class. Now, if people aren't ready to do that, then they can do it to go. That's no problem. I will have my BOGO. We will be playing with new products. Um, but if they want to do it to go, I completely understand. But I kind of pulled the ladies Tuesday night and they were like, yeah, we're okay. That'd be fine. Um, so that's my plan. Um, I do have a mask, so if people want me to wear my mask, I can. I probably won't serve food just to not have um, any, you know, sharing of stuff like that. Um, and then I'll see how many sign up. And if I, you know, I may even do tables upstairs to separate people more if they want. I'm just going to kind of see what people want. Um, but I think it's, if I, I'm ready to start stamping in person with you all instead of live um, I've, I've missed, you know, stamping with people. So that's my plan. And like I said, I'll get, um, something on Facebook and an email out pretty soon to let everybody know. But I wanted to show you some things I made. This is, I think it's called forever. It's either forever greenery or forever fern. This set is beautiful. I know we're going to use it next Thursday. Um, so there's some, embossing folders if you can see that there's they're narrow embossing folders this is some of the ribbon that comes with it and then the designer series paper and you'll see a little bit more of it on the other projects is gorgeous and then there's these gold um thing i don't it's like it's like a whole sheet that has different things that you can punch out that are gold some that are like frames this was just a little gold leaf um and then not this one, this is shaded spruce, but um, one of the colors, one of the new in colors is just jade. I think that's the name of it. And it's um, used in this designer series paper too. So this is one card I made with it. And this is another card. This is the new just jade. Some more of the designer series paper. This is the other embossing folder. It actually embosses on each end. Um, these gold rings are a part of this suite. And then this gold ribbon. Let me bring it up a little closer. You can see all that. But it it's just beautiful. And then I had to make a little pizza box with it too. So this is um, some of the dies that go with it. This is too. One of the dies. It has dies that cut out the leaves that you stamp. And then also just some extra dies. And then there's some more of that gold. And then I did do a little bit of gold embossing um, with just a little kind of splatter stamp, just emboss that. And then this is some more of the paper. Oop, let me get it back up. Some more of the paper that goes with it. And then I did the embossing folder for the sides. So it, like I said, is just beautiful. Um, so I know we will be using it next week. And since we'll be in person, um, I, I'll probably use... Um, two or three different suites just so you get to see a variety of things. Um, when I'm doing it live, I don't want people to have to worry about, okay, do I have that stamp set and that one and that one? Um, but since we'll be um, in person, then I can use multiple things. Um, so I think that's it for this evening. Thank you for joining me. Um, if I can help you with anything, be sure and let me know um, and just watch for more information on the um, class next Thursday, and I hope to see you all then. Thank you. Bye.